Hey guys, USL's Kelsey Steele here, and I've got New Mexico's Kaylin Ryden and Real Monarchs Jack Blake in the virtual house. Guys, how have you been? Doing very well. Yeah, I've been doing well also. Doing very well. Happy to be here. Excited to play this game. Excited yes. to chat with you guys for a bit. Let's have some fun. Yes. I, uh, I thought this interview would be, uh, be perfect to do together because you guys are great friends. So I've got some fun things in store as we kind of move through. But first, obviously, there's a few items we, we have to talk about at the gate here. You both won a championship together in 2019. So I've got to know off the cuff here, what was that experience like for you guys? Uh, I would say, well, when, when I first met Kaylin, we, we played in uh, Jacksonville together. And uh, it was interesting, actually, because we, ha we had a bit of a moment in the first game of the season. We were away to Sacramento last season. Uh, me and Kaylin had a quick chat before the final whistle, and it was, like, on the field. And I said to him, like, you know, this is year three of us being together. Like, let's, let's make it a good one. And I think that both kind of... Uh, it was a very powerful moment, I think, and then one that we spoke about like after we lifted the championship. So yeah, it was that was really cool, I think. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty cool moment that Jack and I have. I remember that vividly in, in Sacramento. Um, but I mean, I mean, obviously, winning a championship is is very special, you know, regardless of of who's around you. But you know, having a guy like Jack, who you know we've been teammates for for three years, um, and to be able to lift that with him was was an incredible experience, but I mean, there, there were a lot of guys on that team that, you know, him and I are, are really close with and we had a strong bond. Um, and so it was, it was really, really special to, to be able to lift that and have that season with all those guys. I'm sure you got sick of hearing it at some point, but obviously you guys were, were dubbed the underdogs c coming into the, the postseason, let alone the final. Uh, how much did that weigh on you guys? I mean, that had to, that had to have been, on on your shoulders a little bit right i think it was like the way we looked at it at the time was we we actually enjoyed the fact that that we were the underdogs i think um it's always best to have no pressure and, and we we literally had no pressure on us so uh, especially on the game in louisville i mean i think people were people were saying it was going to be a very comfortable game for louisville and, and we knew that people were saying that and it, we kind of used it to our advantage and it, i think it allowed us to relax a little more to be honest yeah, I had a, I had a couple ex teammates who like you know Facetime me and texted me after the championship, and they were like, "Hey, just so you know, like, not ever all of us had Louisville. Like, all of us, you know, were like, no chance you guys are gonna win that game." And we went down six minutes in, and they were like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> get us slap them up." And and so yeah, but I, I, back to Jack's point, I mean, going to Phoenix, you know, we're on the road. We're, Phoenix is at home. Like, pressure's on them. They're at home. You know, Louisville, um, you know, pressure's on them. I think the pressure was a bit more on us in the, in the Western Conference final just because we were at home. Um, but I felt like at no point, even towards the end of the regular season, no one really had us doing what we did. And so, like Jack said, we just used that for, you know, fuel to the fire. What a cool moment for you guys to be able to share after, you know, your friendships. I mean, being able to have – two different experiences on two different teams together. That's, that's really unique and something that you guys have been, have been able to share. But I mean, it's a little different now, you know, you're, you're on the, uh, the posing side of things, obviously Kayla now in New Mexico. Have you been keeping up with each other during all of this? Because in reality, you guys were gearing up to see each other on the opposite of, of the pitch this weekend. Yeah. In like three days, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we were going to play. Yeah. No, we, we had, uh, you know, as soon as I found out I was going here and we knew Jack was staying, you know, we we marked off both of those dates on the calendar. I knew he was coming here in, in April. And then I think we were supposed to go to Salt Lake or our schedule to go to Salt Lake on July 10th, I believe it is. So as soon as the schedule came out, we texted each other immediately and we were like, April 25th, July 10th, like, see, you, you know, like, we're buzzing to, to play against each other and see each other. Um, so, yeah, that, that would have been a cool moment. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to happen in three days. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, I had, Kaylin's, uh, I had Kaylin's spare bedroom already. I had his bed sheets laid out, had everything ready to go. Yeah, I, I was going to stay an extra couple of days in Salt Lake in, in Jack's spare bedroom. We were going to hang out for a few days. I was wondering on trips like that if you guys have the ability to be able to, to kind of arrange it a little bit because obviously in that circumstance you want to be able to see each other. But, you know, when it comes to that, are you guys kind of in and out quickly? It's difficult, yeah, because, like, we, we both have friends who play on different teams in the league as well. And every time we go and um, 
every time we go and visit other cities, it's, it's difficult because you only you don't really want to do too much the night before the game. And, and then after the game, there's only a short amount of time. I mean, when kickoff 7, 7.30, it's like 10, 10 p.m. And then you have a couple of hours and then that's it. And you fly home Sunday morning. So that's, that's the downside. You don't get to spend as much time. But I guess it's good to see each other no matter what. Yeah, usually on the road, like throughout the last few years, like, you know, if, if I were to go to, to, to Salt Lake, like Jack would probably like come to the hotel. Like I, I've, you know, if, if friends of mine have, you know, in the last couple of years came to Salt Lake, I would drive to there, you know, where they're staying in the hotel and see them there um, and just make the most of it. Definitely going to be a different scenario this year. And now we, we don't know exactly when that's going to happen. So you two have kind of been making do across uh, social media as of late. Honestly, right. I think that you've probably been two of the most active USL players during this hiatus. Kaylin, you've really tackled the TikTok world. Yeah, um, TikTok. Um, I, I got to know, how, how did these videos start? Um, I mean, honestly, my wife and I just downloaded TikTok just like out of boredom, really. Just, you know, everyone's talking about it. So we got on it and started watching it. And it's, you know, it's a great, great time waster. It kills a bunch of time watching TikToks. But like, you know, we've watched, um, you know, so many videos and different trends that are happening on, on TikTok and then thinking of our own things and just kind of, you know, just really, really enjoyed it. I think her and I both have, you know, outgoing personalities. So we're, we're not shy behind the camera to, you know, do whatever and have fun with it. And it's just, just keeping a, a laugh and a smile on our face and we're enjoying it. And we've got a lot of great feedback on, on Twitter and, and stuff as well. And even on TikTok, a couple, a couple of TikToks that I haven't shared on other platforms. Like I, I just posted one that I have like 130,000 views on and a bunch of likes. So, and we have another one too that we did and, it has almost like 500,000 views. Like, so since we're doing pretty well, we're just going to keep doing it, I guess. So, Are you a TikTok I, influencer, Galen? Uh, I'm, I'm on the road. I'm on the path. I'm, I think I will be soon, but I'm not there just yet. I texted him a couple of days ago, but he didn't reply. And now he's big time on TikTok. He just, yeah, I don't, you know, I'm so big on TikTok now. I don't have time for Jack anymore. I'm shocked he showed up to this interview, honestly. I know. I should be filming TikToks. This is, this is cutting into my, my filming time. <laughs> Jack, I've got to know what you thought about the uh, his flip the switch video. I think that's one of my, one of my personal favorites. <laughs> I think of all the all the TikToks he's done, I think that was probably my favorite one. Uh, yeah, that that was pretty good. My favorite was Kaylin's panting face. I think. That was <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it was so creative, honestly. Yeah, it's I I've been thoroughly entertained. Obviously, the people the people are loving the TikTok videos, Kaylin. But I mean, Jack, you've been you've been crazy busy too i mean between posting workouts nutritional videos skills yes. technique content, all of that good stuff do you feel like this hiatus has kind of allowed you to to tap into your second passion a bit yeah definitely you know when i started the youtube channel it was kind of um the motivation for it was just to inspire people and and put out content that that i would have wanted to watch when i was younger and you know i spent a lot of time growing up watching youtube videos and um it's hard to do it during the season obviously my main priority and focus is, is my football career and, and how the football is going for me. But if this, this time has definitely given me more time to, to put out more content and also been good to you know, make the days pass quicker for me, really. <laughs> and uh, you've obviously had a lot of fun with it too. I mean, you're putting out a ton of challenges also, so not just the, the video content. Yeah. But um, I think my personal favorite was the toilet paper challenge that <laughs> you did with with Leo that yeah. was hysterical oh. so it was kind of like it kind of it really evolved really quickly so like the, <laughs> the concept behind it was I was gonna I was gonna do a few kick-ups and then maybe like just kick it to Leo and see what happens and then we did a few takes because it's not easy to kick up a toilet roll so <laughs> maybe on like the fifth especially the, up and over your child yeah on the fifth I think the fifth take like he started to get really impatient with it and, I, and he realized that I wasn't giving it to him and then it kind of just evolved from that. So it was a perfect video in the end, but I, I didn't have that planned at all. Poor guy. That's one of those that you have to share. Have to, uh, share. Hold yeah. on. And we know when he's like 10 or 11. And he's yeah. that <laughs> that, that's, that's by far my favorite video that Jack's put out for sure. It was, it was so, it, uh, that one was so good. You guys have both been so creative with, with the stuff on social. But I think what's interesting too with this hiatus is 
you guys have both been going through different kind of large life events during COVID. So I think that makes it even more interesting. Caitlin, you just celebrated your birthday, but quarantine style. So what, what was that like for you? Um, well, it was, it was definitely different than all my other birthdays. Um, didn't get, didn't go out to go do anything. Um, I woke up to a nice breakfast for my wife, which was lovely. Um, and then just hung out throughout the day, FaceTimed, uh, family and, and friends, uh, played a little Fortnite with Jack. We had an hour slot on the day. I had to mark out for Jack. <laughs> Surprised uh, you could fit him in. That's yeah, I know. Crazy. It was a busy day. Um, and then here at the complex I live at, they have like this social room um, mm -hmm. on one of the floors. And so like me and a few of the guys um uh, kind of got together and just hung out uh, we had a cake and just kind of brought some snacks and just hung out you know that was as much as we could do um there's about you know seven or eight of us there um and yeah that was about it definitely made the most of it and yeah I tried, tried to make the most of it uh, i didn't have much to do or uh, much choice or option but uh, we, we made the most of it Jack, you and your family have been experiencing a little bit of, of weirdness, too, with your wife, Lou, being pregnant. What's that been like? Because, I mean, obviously, her, her first pregnancy was completely different. Yeah, yeah. No, she, yeah, I mean, it's difficult. Um, obviously, the, the main concentration of folks at the moment is trying to keep her away from anyone else, really. So we've been quarantined for a while now, like, coming up six weeks tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. It's a little, we're both going a little stir crazy, but the main thing is just trying to keep, you know, trying to keep her safe and we're getting closer and closer to the date. So I'm excited, but also nervous on one hand because I, I think now like uh, there's certain hospitals in the States that aren't allowing like the partner in the delivery room and, and things like that. So um, I'm hoping that, that, that we can be, but yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also a bit nervous. It's interesting too, on the other side of things, you guys are, are both able to spend some time with, family you know way more than you ever normally have the opportunity to so uh, on the other side of things it's kind of been a, a unique experience for you guys getting some of that that really amazing time that a lot of time spent on the road yeah that that's what's uh, been really good for me is um we kind of hoped that the this would have happened a few months later so we would have been spending more mm -hmm. quality time with with a baby daughter. So yeah, but the time has definitely been, been really good to spend, you know, with the family and it's always difficult for Lou when I'm traveling on the road and she's looking after Leah on her own. So especially being pregnant. So yeah, it's kind of been a bit of a blessing in disguise, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's still very frustrating. <laughs> my, Is Jade my... sick of you yet, Kaylin? Say that again? Is Jade sick of you yet? Uh, yeah, she is. She <laughs> definitely is. Uh, I, her her schedule hasn't changed much because she's you know, she had a job in Salt Lake and then we moved here. She was able to keep it, so she's just working remotely. So oh, she's nice. still working from home Monday through Friday, um, but she just has to deal with me every day. Usually, I'm gone for the first five or six hours of the day when I go off to training. But now I'm constantly walking in her little office space and peeking my head in and bothering her. So she's definitely sick of me. That's for sure. Have you seen those videos? I think there's a bunch of them on TikTok too of like people in that giant dinosaur costume and they're like what it looks like when my spouse is uh, trying to work and I'm just like going back and forth. Yeah, distracting her and running yeah, around causing chaos. That's pretty much, I don't have a dinosaur, I don't have that inflatable costume, but that's pretty much me what I'm doing without, without that costume. I'm a little nervous now that I might have... Uh, yeah, I might have to look on Amazon and see if I can order one of those dinosaur <laughs> inflatable sorry, outfits. Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, if, that, if that happens, you're, you're going to be the one to blame. <laughs> I'll take that because you might have some uh, explaining to do after this next part of the interview. So I figured if we're going to have the two of you on at the same time, we've got to see how good of friends you actually are. So we've got a little bit of uh, a, a few little games in store for you guys today. They're twofold. The first one is going to be most likely. So very easy. You guys have two sheets of paper, one with Kaylin's name on it, one with Jack's name on it. I'm going to give you a few seconds to kind of take in the question and then you tell me who's more likely to do that question. Okay. And then we'll move into the second one, which you guys are going to be answering about, about each other. So how you think each other would answer. So it'll kind of be, self-explanatory as we go but maybe a little bragging rights here once yeah, it's all that second part will be the real test of our friendship i was yep. gonna say we're gonna come out with a friendship after this 
Yeah. You know, we're going to be like, know. better it friends. Like you're already like on the burger with, with Kale in there. <laughs> yeah. Either we're going to become better friends out of this or we're not going to like each other at all because we're going <laughs> to We don't know each other at all. <laughs> all right. The ultimate test. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. First question. Who's most likely to go to a Justin Bieber concert? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Three, two, one. That's a tick for Kalen. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. That's good. Are you, are you a Biebs fan? Uh, I mean, his most recent album is decent. I mean, I'm not like a crazy Bieber fan, but I think his music is good. So I listen to it. You don't have like one less lonely girl blaring in the background? No, but I've got a Bieber poster in my room, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah. All right, question number two: Who's most likely to cry because of a sad movie? Oh, are you ready? Three, two, one. That's Caitlin again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Paul. <laughs> yeah. I only picked myself because I just. I don't know. I just don't think Jack would ever cry on watching a sad movie, and I think I would. I don't know. Yeah. Have you? Have you recently, Caitlin? Have I recently? No, because I haven't watched anything sad lately. We won't talk about that one time. <laughs> no, please. I want to hear this. <laughs> I, have to, I have to hear this. <laughs> no, no, you're just bantering. Yeah, there's, there's no story. <laughs> All right. All right, next question. Who's more likely to break some sort of world record? Are you good, Jack? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> oh I was thinking, I was thinking you were going to break the, the record for the most TikTok views in one video. Yeah, I was thinking something about like YouTube videos or something. You're yeah. Oh, you guys both throw each other a bone there. That's so nice. Yeah. That, was, I, that, was a, that was a tally for Jake Black. <laughs> Cheers, Paul. All right, next one. Who's most likely to appear on some sort of reality TV show? <laughs> All right, three, two, one. That's Kaylin. Oh! I thought you were going with the YouTube. I, I already used the YouTube for one answer. Yeah, right. nice. I love that. Okay. Who's, who is more likely to last longer on a deserted island? Oh, Jesus. Easy. Okay, three, two, without, one. Without a doubt, it's me. <laughs> Jack, no chance. Kaylin, no, you can't. Be, Kaylin is no. the most sensible, the most correct. Everything he would have that island pristine. He would be nah. I'm not yeah. surviving the day. Yeah, if, if Jack doesn't have a sparkling water within ten minutes, he's out. He's out. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's a, that's a good one uh, okay <laughs> next one who's more likely to break their phone hmm, i think i think jack and i both have pretty clean phones um uh, all right three two one jake yeah I mean, because again, like Kaylin's so careful that he wouldn't be dropping his phone. So. That's why I chose you. I think we both have clean, pristine, conditioned yeah. phones. But. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> I like this one. Uh, who's most likely to post a mirror selfie? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Jack, yeah. <laughs> Kaylin had zero hesitation. Yeah. Well, Jack didn't either. Jack didn't hesitate. Kaylin's not had a trim in two months. How can he post a selfie? Yeah. Right, I can't tell you how many times I've asked like guys in the league to do videos or something before games, and they're like, "I, I, ha I haven't gone to get my hair. I have to get my hair cut. Like, like talk to me tomorrow." <laughs> the next day. And you I'm like, have, uh, have you, you, you think the day before game, the day of a game." Yeah, I'm like, it's a 15 second video, man. He was like, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, so a few more here. Okay. Who's most likely to win an arm wrestling competition? Like between us or just between in general? You two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, between you two. Who, who's tougher? 
Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah, no he, he's pretty, yeah he, he's pretty strong. I've, got, I've not really got... Biceps isn't my strong hey, point. Hey, thanks for the compliment. Thank yeah, you. no worries, mate. I had to give you that one. Thanks, friend. Brownie points, brownie points. All right, who's most likely to forget their cleats on a road trip? Hmm. <laughs> Funny story about this. Go ahead. Oh, yes. <laughs> All well, right, Caitlin, let's hear it. Well, I forgot my boots uh, in, in, against Phoenix in the, Western, in the Western Conference semifinals. I had to wear Jack's boots that game. Yeah. The I got you. ultimate friend. I yeah. know. And we, he we probably had friends. his – one of the best games of the season in, in my boots. So Yeah, he, yeah, but I never warm up for that. And I scored the next game, so <laughs> No, and they weren't even the right size. Like Jack and I don't wear the same like shoe size, but like it was the closest to what I wore and it was like the same style of shoe. So like I was like, I gotta wear these. So they like they didn't fit me that great, but I had to play in them. So how much how big of a difference are we talking size wise? I mean like half a size. You half wear size. Size, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're walking or you're like running in two sizes. <laughs> Jack, Jack wears, yeah, he wears 14s. I wear nines, but it works. I love that. Okay. Or, that what works. size do you wear? What, 10s, Jack? Uh, yeah, I'm a US 10, yeah. Yeah, see, I like my boots nice and small. I wear nine and a half, so it wasn't too too big of a difference. But, but yeah, funny story. All right. Thank God for the boots. Okay, last one. Who's most likely to snore? <laughs> <laughs> I snore. yeah yeah i i i only like he doesn't snore like i snore can, so loud. can, I, tell you, can I tell you a good story oh so, i'm here for it so kaylin has a habit of before he goes to sleep he uh plays the office in the background on netflix yeah i go i fall asleep to the office every night okay so, like he'll just put it on the bedside table so i was sharing a room with him one night and like I just hear the office going off, and Kayla's like snoring. And I'm like, I'm like "What are you doing, pal?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah." So because because we had, we hadn't spoke about you know sleeping rituals, you know. Mm-hmm. I just was getting comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna turn the office on. I'm gonna go to sleep because I don't like to go to sleep when it's dead silent. And Jack is like, "It's got to be dead silent." <laughs> Oh, so, like, I'm just turning on the phone, my phone. I got some, you know, noise going on in the background. So I, go I think most people would agree that they like it silent when they go to bed. No, I, I, I don't like silence. I need, I need like sound to go to sleep. So we were completely. Oh, shouldn't that be enough sound? What'd you what say? Did you say? You snoring. Shouldn't that be enough sound? <laughs> well, see, I don't hear myself snore. <laughs> All, the other oh, I hear. All right. <laughs> yeah, I love I, it. All right. You guys survived the most likely round. Yeah, a little bit more interesting here. So these the next questions are kind of just like going off of the newlywed game a little bit, yeah. but all right. First question. What is their favorite thing about themselves? About themselves. Oof. That's a what tough one. Jack's, what is Jack's? I'm coming out hot here. Yeah. yeah. I know. What is what is your favorite thing about yourself, Jack? Jack Jack, what's your favorite thing about yourself? Oh. I would, I would probably say, I'd like to think I'm quite funny, maybe. Funny? Yeah. Yeah. I was just, I put like being a dad. I don't know. Maybe. That was uh, yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I would say the favorite thing about myself is probably my sense of humor. Ah. Yeah, I went with your voice. Because your voice is. Oh. You have a quality voice, mate. That's yeah. Nice. I do. I do. Yeah. I should have got that, though. So, bad start. Bad, bad start. Two Maybe great all-around great answers, though. Maybe we both think we're funnier than we are. <laughs> yeah, we both thought we were funny, and neither of us thought the other was funny. <laughs> uh, all right, next one. I'm, I'm really interested to see what you guys bring for this one. Okay. What is the thing they're most likely to end up in jail for? Wow. Okay, so mine for you would be uh, because you have a powerful shot, you would be shooting at goal and it would fly over, hit someone and kill someone. Yeah, but I wouldn't go to jail for that. That was... (laughs) But it's manslaughter. If they die, it's manslaughter, isn't it? Whoa! (laughs) Um, (laughs) That's what you're asking. No, no, yeah, you're right. Uh, I I definitely didn't write that. (laughs) Creative there. (laughs) That was very creative. I'm sorry. I really can't think of anything. Yeah. But it's it's definitely not that. So we wouldn't have got it. Like we wouldn't have okay. got it anyway. That's fine. I mean? All right. Next one then. That's fine. 
Okay, well, but you have yours though, because I have an answer for you. Um, go on, what's your answer? Uh, yours would be stealing snacks from a gas station. You that is so true. Yes. <laughs> yes. Me? Snacker, Jack. Oh, he loves snacks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, if we've been on a night out, or whatever, everyone loves snacks at the end of a night out. So, like, or, or like after after a game, you know, you, you we, we we treat ourselves yeah. after a game. You have a Reese's, you have a soda. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. this guy Jack, he goes all out with his snacks. Yeah. So, right, what's so it like, you? I, I'd agree with that one. Gas station. That's that's yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. If I didn't have any money on me, I needed a snack. Then yeah, yeah probably. He'd steal snacks for sure. <laughs> I love that. That's a really good one. Okay, next one. Okay. Who would play them in a movie? I have yours, easy, but mine. Yeah, you want to go ahead and knock ours out, mine out now? Yeah, three, two, one. Adam Sandler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because he looks so oh, done. Yeah, Adam Sandler would play me in a movie about me. Um, who's going to play you? Do you know who's going to play you in a movie? Mm-mm. Oh, I've got one. I've got one. Uh, I'll, I'll say it first. It's Jason Statham. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow, guys, that was a really good one. That was, we were, that was, we were two for two on that round. You should have said that at the same time. Yeah, I know. It, it just hit me late. As soon as yeah, I saw you your hairline, I was like, oh, yeah, Jason Statham. Yeah, you got excited. Yeah, thanks for that one, Paul. <laughs> All right, just a few more here. Um, guys, you're both married. Jack, what city is Jade from? Kaylin, what city is Lou from? Oh. oh no. So Nottingham's my answer. Is Lou from Nottingham as well? Correct. Yes. Okay. okay. So I thought, I thought she wasn't. Well done. So Jade is from a tiny, tiny, tiny town in I mean. in Oklahoma. Yes. And it's I'm gonna try to say it. Okay. Chuck Chuck Tar. <laughs> okay. So you're so she's she has uh Indian Native American in her blood. She's like her grandparents are from the Choctaw tribe, but Choctaw yeah. isn't like the city where she's from. Oh, that's not the city. All right, but I knew the tribe. The tribe. That was a really educated guess, though. So, Thank yeah, you. that was very good. It's her license plate. You, that's where you've seen it from. Yeah. Okay, so she is from Atoka, Oklahoma. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get half a point for the Choctaw tribe. Yeah, the Choctaw shot. That was that was decent yeah. for me. Yeah. Well done. I love that one. Okay, we're going to go one more, guys. Okay. Describe each other's game in one word. I'm going to keep it simple. I could have gone a little. little. No, mate. Go, go a little. Go on. Go a little. <laughs> go a little, mate. No, no I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep it here. You'll, you'll, you'll respect this answer, okay? Okay. Go here. Yeah. So, what, well, cause, well, they're going to be different because they're about each other. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, mine's about you. Yeah, mm-hmm. so... So one word. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something kind of funny. I'm gonna say that you think you describe my game in one word as <laughs> uh... <laughs> go for it. Header. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, I gotta go with powerful. Powerful. Yeah, you're you're a powerful guy. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I know. I kind of went yeah, yeah, you, always, you always, my big head, you always say I love a header. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what do you think I wrote for you? Is, or, what do you or what is your game in one word? I'll say technical. Ping. Ping. <laughs> close. Yeah, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, you've got to be technical to hit a ping. I was going to write diag. Oh, love, yeah, that's yeah. Like, that's the same as a ping as well. You know, you love a good ping. Yeah, I love a good diag. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> how, how, how would you guys score yourselves? I think we did a pretty I good job. Well. Yeah. yeah, I'd say it's, it's, it's cemented our friendship, I think. Yeah, the, uh, we were good on the actors, on the movie. Yeah. We were, I mean, the, the crime, going to jail. I think stealing snacks <laughs> was pretty good, but I don't know about my shot killing somebody. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't thinking that. Uh, I think the first round was better than the second. And then I was impressed, too, on uh, Jade's knowledge of where she's from. You know, Chalked Up's close. You're on the right track. Yeah. So does that mean this test will survive your, your TikTok fame, Kalen? Yes. Will you apply to my text now? Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I'll, I think I have time for Jack now. I think I can respond to his messages. My, my work here is done. Yeah, Kelsey, <laughs> this is all because of you. Look, look at you bringing us back together. 
<laughs> Social distancing, but together. How yeah, about that? Together. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for so much for coming on today. I, I really enjoyed this, and uh, I hope it's allowed your friendship to, to blossom. <laughs> yes, you know, we are blossoming better than ever right now. No, no so seriously, cannot wait to see you guys back uh, back out in the pitch, you know, when, when it's safe and, and right to rock. Um, no, no matter when it is, it's, it's going to be a season I don't think anybody's ever going to be able to forget. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having us on, Kelsey. Thanks for having us on. Thanks, guys. Take care. See you on Fortnite, okay? Yeah. <laughs>